let's let's come back to to England. Um, you watch you watch the games, right? Uh, yeah, I do. <laughs> you watch the games, <laughs> mm. and uh, something. Should I say tragedy happened? You know, Liverpool lost a game. This is the first time Everton has beaten them in over twenty years now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, at at Anfield, and it doesn't look like uh, Liverpool. We yes, they won the Champions. There's League. only one player in that team that mm. have experienced Liverpool beating. I mean, Everton beating Liverpool yeah. in the Merseyside derby. It's only one player. Now every player in the team have experienced. Okay, so, <laughs> so I just want to know. Um, do you think, or what do you think? Or how do you, you know, if, if you're to advise club, you know, or if you're assistant to club, you know, how do you think that they can get out from this, from this rot? Spend, spend, and spend. There is a reason why they won the, that, see, Liverpool cannot come here and give me excuses. They played in the finals of the UEFA Europa Cup. Mm. They made some money. Mm. Now, I'm not talking about money or playing in the final, but the fact that they sold a lot of civilware. They have Standard Chartered as their sponsors. They have a lot of sponsors. And I remember, because I was the host of the event in Nigeria, and I remember that Standard Chartered, Chartered on the road to KF, where they lost to Real Madrid, they doubled or quadrupled the sponsorship money mm. after KF and told them, go get whoever you want to get and come back to the finals. And then the following year, they were in the finals and they beat Tottenham Hospital. Not only that, they broke the 30 years jeans and won the league title. So there's plenty of money. In terms of consistency of chasing the league title, they, they lost the league title by a point to Man City the previous season, and then the following season they won it. So there's plenty of money in the bag. They don't have a, a bogus salary uh, structure that is zapping off the money. They also are not rebuilding a, a, a stadium completely like Tottenham Hotspur did. Their training facility is one of the best in the world right now. But you see, quality is quality. The human body is like a car engine. There is so much as it can take, and then it will begin to fall off. So uh, I, I think the car, the car, the Liverpool car have been beaten so much. And I've said this, and I'm going to say it again. There is not competition in the club squad. Club have done incredible. It's done the, the Im impossible. Okay? So I'm not going to say here and say his tactics have been found that. It's not a good coach. Mm. I think that the engine, the oil in the engine have run thing. And it's becoming very thin that when you look at the, 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 the way they play, they are jaded. There's lack of creativity, lack of innovation, inventive thinking. And football, it's all about the half chances. Football is all about the half chances. So, before now, Liverpool on a 50-50 ball will always beat you to it. Yeah. But right now, they are half an inch too late. Okay, football is like this suit. If this suit is half an inch too long, it's an oversize. If, I not, if half an inch too, too short, it's an undersize. So you have to get the perfect size. You need to get the right person to sew it for you, and you're wearing the, the perfect fit. You know, cut, it, it, it's called cut to size. Liverpool right now have something that is half an inch too short. So it, it's not perfect. What do they do? They need massive spending. It, it might not, you know, make sense, but look at Man City. They lost the title. They lost Leroy Sane. They lost Vincent Company. They lost uh, Siva, David Siva. They went to the market. They just didn't replace like for like anyway because they already have that replacement. But then they, they looked at the squad, what was happening, where it was not balancing. Laporte and Stone were not mixing well. Um, uh, Fernandinho and Stone or Fernandinho and Laporte was not mixing well, which means that they have a problem in their centre-back. They went to go and get Ruben Dias. And they look at uh, the full-back. Mendy is good. Mm. You okay? Mendy is good. But because of his injury, he comes in, plays some great football, and then within the time you think that he's just about accelerating and taking off the ground, he gets, gets, injured, again. gets injured again. And they look at it like this history of injury, it's not something we can be patient, patient with. They went to go and get uh, Jao Cancelo or whatever his name is. And look at the values added. It's not just coming to bring defensive steel to the squad. It's also add some flair, some beauty, and adding a new style to the squad. Don't forget that this squad is also suffering from death of attackers, which also come back to the equation that they might be in the front running for Ellen Ireland. But then we also hear that Liverpool wants to sign Ellen Ireland. We also hear that um, uh, in 2017, uh, Liverpool's owner, uh, J. Henry, uh, took the family of uh, Kalen, Kalen Mbappe on a private jet and they tore around the world. So that also interests him. Like he wants to pay that respect back. So if Mad Madrid cannot afford him, they should go get him. I think these are players that are available. I don't, I don't think that Sadio Mane can continue to play better than he's playing right now. Mm. He needs to rest. 
you need to start rotating Sadio Mane. Mo Salah, the Egyptian Messi, and I don't know why they, we like to adopt those names. I've never heard South Americans or Europeans take our name. Only Robson Kanu. Aside that one, no other person again have take, taken our name. But this guy needs to rest. Uh, this is the time where Roberto Firmino was supposed to really step up as a number nine. We're done with his hold-up play, link-up play. That's not what the number nine does. Yes, he's got the best flick and thrills in football right now. He's a combination of Dimitri Babatov and Dennis Beckham all put together. But a number nine needs to put the ball in the net, and that's what he needs. Now, the bad thing for Liverpool was the fact that a player that was beginning to uh, make uh, Firmino reason that, okay, this position is not settled for me, was Diego Jota. He came mm. in, scored a lot of goals, and was creating, and then he got, went out injured. Okay, so somebody out there would ask, what are the guarantees that the, the other players that they will sign will not go out injured? I, I, I think you should look at it from this angle. The, the, the pyramid of injuries at the back makes it impossible for you to criticize your club. But the squad in itself need to press the F5 button. They need refresh. Most of the backup players in Liverpool, we have not seen that. Your club does not even have the faith or the confidence to bring them in. And then the January transfer window also exposed something about Liverpool that is akin to what Asma used to be under the Asadvenga era. They went to East Bridge Town also to go, Preston North End. Preston North End to go so get a player. Powerful. The last time a good player came from Preston North End was when David Beckham went on loan to Preston Norton and came back. Or probably Galineka in 1984, 85, and came back to become a good player. Since then, Preston Norton have not pressed anything uh, from the north end <laughs> to the south end or the east end or west end. So, uh, I, I don't know why the good... I'm not saying they don't produce good players, but you can't be Champions League level. You can't be EPL defending champion. And where you're going to go get the defender that would rescue your season because the season I was in crisis situation. This was a 911 call, and the 911 you're able to dial is uh, a 1942 telegram. You 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 just are not prepared. And then they went to Shaka for Shaka for you signed a player Kabak or so, or so Kabak, was his yeah. name. They brought Kabak. Kabak had played in three teams that have gone on relegation. So is a Samala dice. You know, it's a Samaladice player kind. You, you brought that kind of player who does not have the mental fortitude of knowing how to win, it, 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 win, win, win matches or win a championship or defend a championship, and you're trying to save your season. Come on, we've seen the Kabak. I mean, Kabak reminds you of prayers in Pentecostal Church more than a football player. So I think they need quality. They need to step up, and they need about four to five signings. Of those five signings, three top quality and maybe two middle-class middle players. You are listening to Elegbete TV Radio.